All right, so now that you've downloaded Visual Studio Code, let's take a look at how it works and a couple of extensions that you'll want to install as well to sort of optimize your workflow. So um, once you pull up Visual Studio Code, if you just go over to the left panel here, there are a whole bunch of different um, menus that you can click on. Um, you might not have all of these. Some of these are additional extensions I've installed, but we won't need the ones, the additional ones that I've installed for the purpose of this course. These are things that I've installed for um, other pieces of work or other gigs, uh, or just to check out on my own. Where you wanna go when you first open VS Code to install some more extensions is these like little three, four blocks here. You just wanna click on that. That's the extensions tab. So we can either use the links that are in the description below or just search for the extensions here, but there are about seven extensions that we want to install. So the first one is IntelliCode. So IntelliCode is AI assisted development. Basically it gives you some additional uh, autocomplete features that will help you write your JavaScript and your TypeScript a lot more easily. We're not going to use this at the beginning because it's meant for JavaScript and TypeScript, but it's good to have everything installed just so that when it's time to work with those languages, you don't need to go back and think about um, installing them. So uh, to install any extension, if you take a look here, you'll see the name of the extension. And then right here, there's an install button. You just want to click on that and it'll go ahead and install. Sometimes you have to restart VS Code for the install to take effect. Um, sometimes it just works right out of the box. So if you find that once you've installed this, nothing's working, just quit VS Code, go back in. But for the most part, I think they should just start to work. All right, so after IntelliCode, we want to install ESLint. Uh, this one I already have installed. So ESLint um, is a type of linter. Um, and linters are tools that can analyze your code for bugs or errors, syntax errors, um, anything like that that you don't want to show up in your code. Uh, linters can basically deal with that and make sure that, that you don't make the mistake. They'll throw little errors and say, hey, you know, you shouldn't write this like that. Um, anyhow, linters are really great. Um, I think between linters and another extension called Prettier, they've both helped me write code in a lot more um, clean and succinct way. So um, definitely be sure to install ESLint. The next one we'll install is auto rename tag. Perfect, and again, I already have it installed, but auto rename tag basically allows you to rename paired tags. So HTML is written in pairs of tags. You have an opening tag and a closing tab in most scenarios. There are some that are self-closing, but we'll talk about those when the time's right. So when you have these opening and these closing tags, if you ever decide to rename one of them, change it from a div to a P tag or whatever, H1 to H2, whatever the case might be, Typically, in the regular form of the code editor, it would not rename both. You'd have to go and rename the first half and then rename the second half. What the auto rename tag does is actually rename both of them for you. So it's just one little abstraction that gives you a little less to think about when um, it's time to write your code. So definitely recommend installing this one. It'll just save you some headache in the future. The next one we're going to install is Code Spell Checker. Um, code spell checker is literally just a spell check for your code. It basically makes sure that you haven't accidentally mistyped something. Um, you wouldn't believe how many errors are made just because there is a typo somewhere that hasn't been caught. Um, you know, if you, if you misname a function or a variable and then try and call it and you don't know why it's not working. Um, so to avoid all of that headache, just having a spell checker will keep us in check and make sure that we don't have any issues. So definitely recommend installing code spell checker. By the way, all of these extensions are free. So the next uh, extension we're gonna install is called Live Server. So Live Server allows you to basically load a live instance of the page that you're working on in your browser and have it automatically update as you're working on it. Um, this is not a feature that's necessarily embedded um, when you're working on projects, depending on what framework you're working with or which tools, it might actually happen for itself. But Live Server is a way that you can enable it regardless of whatever tools and frameworks you're working with. Um, so another good one to install. Another one I talked about earlier is Prettier. So Prettier is a code formatter. It's an opinionated code formatter that enforces consistent styling. It parses your code um, on save and basically reformats your code in the most elegant way possible. Um, you can customize Prettier to work for certain languages and not other languages and to adopt certain styles and not other styles. As I said, it's opinionated, so it has um, preferences, you know, um, having an extra space, having a semicolon at the end or not. Um, you can basically customize a lot of these features with Prettier. 
The thing with Prettier and with ESLint, as I said before, I find that having them enabled, although it might seem like a cheat or a hack, actually has made me a better developer because it teaches my eye what I should be typing. Um, and then when I do work with something that doesn't have Prettier, I'll notice um, that, hey, like I haven't formatted that correctly because I don't have Prettier enabled or whatever the case might be. So uh, definitely recommend installing Prettier. It's pretty popular. Um, you can also see the number of downloads each uh, extension has. This one has 28 million, verging on 29 million at the moment. The final extension that we're gonna install is ES7 Snippets. So this is uh, ES7 plus React, Redux, React Native Snippets. Um, so this will be more useful when we start to talk about JavaScript. Um, but what snippets are, are basically uh, keyboard shortcuts that allow you to uh, set up really large pieces of boilerplate code. They don't even have to be that, that large, but pieces of boilerplate code, like imports and um, creating components that you know, take a minimal amount of time to do, but when you do 10 of them every day, it the time does add up. Um, so ES, ES7 plus snippets, um, good option to sort of mitigate the amount of time that we spend um, typing sort of uh, repetitive code. If you go down to the bottom here where it says snippets and click on there, it will actually open up um, a whole page in GitHub of all of the different types of snippets that you can actually use with ES7 plus. And it will um, show you, you know, like if you type IMR, it means install React, um, whatever the case may be, um, you can access the whole list of them. So definitely install that one as well. Mm -hmm.